Hi everybody. I want to introduce this next clip because um, it's somebody who I really admire. Her name is Jordan Summers. She's an author of many different genres and more than that she is somebody that I've slowly gotten to know over the last couple of years through conferences and stuff like that and every time I talk to her and every time I spend time with her I realize how smart she is. <laughs> Not just smart either, but honest and um, big hearted. If she knows anything or thinks of anything that will help you, she's more than happy to share it. And she does a lot of that sharing on her blog, jordansummers.com, so you should check that out. But um, just so you can get a little glimpse of what she's really like in person, Here's uh, what she's like when I trapped her in a corner. You can literally see her trying to run away and me not letting her. <laughs> Enjoy the clip. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Author Jordan Summers spent the same, the whole time at this, uh, the whole weekend at the Novelist Inc. conference here in Tampa, right? Yes, I did. All right, John. So I want to ask you, I happen to know that you went to the night owl sessions that we have here at night and uh, that they were surprising. Well, they were surprising for me. Were they surprising for you? Yes, I thought that, that I didn't quite expect there to be so much wonderful information in them. I. Um, I like the fact that the Night Owls combined a equal amount of play with with learning. They were interactive. They yes, were very interactive. Very interactive. Yes. All right. And um, for the whole conference, as far as information goes and education, what would be the main tip or main point that you're taking away from it? that authors these days have many options available to them and that we are no longer limited to the institutions that that uh, have been the gatekeepers in this industry for so many years. All right. So uh, as uh, as Joe Conrad said, we don't all we don't have to we have to break out of our conditioning. The way we've been conditioned is that, that way. That is correct. Yeah. That and that's going to be actually the hardest part. I don't think it's a case where um, it, the opportunities are there. I think that will be the most difficult part because we have been we have been so conditioned to go, you know, finish a manuscript, send it into an agent, have the agent submit to New York, eventually have them, um, you know, hopefully, you know, get in contact with a publisher that wants to buy your work, and then sell it, and then wait another year for the book to come out, and you know, to do edits and everything. And that, that there was a whole process. Yeah, there was a whole process that pretty much has been blown out of the water. Right. And it's going to take a, a lot of authors, and me included, a, a while to kind of go, wow, okay, there are other ways of getting my work to readers. There are other ways that may be more effective and, and um, beneficial to somebody who, like me, writes in multiple genres at the same time. So uh, I think this is a good thing. What are some of the genres you write in? I write in romance, I write in erotic romance, I write in fantasy, I write in young adult, and I write in horror. And in horror. And yeah, so most of my books combine all of the above, except for young adult, and then it's just the urban fantasy and horror. There you go. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for taking the time out to answer my questions. Well, and thank you for inviting me. All right, and maybe we'll see you at the next Novelist Inc. conference. Absolutely. Thank you.